There are a, a lot of projects out there that will help you land a job in cybersecurity, but here are five projects that I think will give you a good head start on your resume and boost you into a career in cybersecurity. And the first one is to build a portfolio web application. This is going to be really beneficial in several ways. I personally think you shouldn't use any kind of content management system. So that way you can show you actually know how to create a website. You actually know how a backend works and maybe even create a database where somebody has to log in in order to see some of your skills, maybe even make it vulnerable to SQL injection. Hey, you got to remember you're just hosting this on the cloud. It's not actually on your physical computer. Just something's going to be able to show you how perseverance and you have the skills, the technical skills, and the ability to research to actually pull off some kind of project like a portfolio. So it is number one, and it's probably going to be the most comprehensive of all of the projects. So it is going to seem like a big undertaking. But here on this channel, I have videos where I walk you through building a portfolio website, and then you can watch those videos, and then you can go ahead and make it your own. Number two is going to seem really daunting, but after you finish some kind of hack the box or some kind of CTF, Create a video about it and put it here on YouTube. It's going to be a really simple place where potential employees are going to be able to come and actually see your skills, actually see your thought process and how you walk through attacking different machines that are attacking different ports or just your methodology. So having walkthroughs here on YouTube will be really helpful, I believe. And it also shows maybe you write down on your resume that you've completed 20 Hack the Box boxes and an employer's like have they really you have the walkthroughs here on youtube so that potential employers are able to actually see what you've done and so at this point you may be thinking where am i going to gain the skills necessary to create a web application that is going to be a portfolio for myself and maybe even the ability to write reports after you have completed some kind of CTF. And that brings us to the sponsor of today's video, Simply Learn. Simply Learn's boot camps have been recommended by Forbes, emphasizing hands-on learning experience that helps students submit their new skills, their modules in cybersecurity fundamentals, networking, Python programming, offensive security, and defensive security all in one specific bootcamp. Simply Learn is the number one online bootcamp for gaining programming skills as well as cybersecurity skills. And here we have a specific bootcamp that I want to walk through. What I really want you to see is in the demand industry for cybersecurity, the demand is on the rise. The growth is expected to go up nearly 25%. And you can see 63% of jobs have been unfilled. And you can see some of the top companies that are considered to be the most desirable companies that are hiring. And maybe you're wanting to work towards your CEH. You can see that we have the CEH, CompTIA, Security Plus, a bunch of different certifications that you can work towards here with different boot camps on Simply Learn. And what's really amazing about Simply Learn is they have collaboration with the world's top universities and companies for their programs. And a few things about this specific specific program is you can see that you have integrated labs, you have hands-on experience, you also are able to have live training. So if you have a question, you have somebody that you can actually talk to, you have hands-on projects and access to security labs, is which is going to be really important for having a place to practice. So if you are not looking to get formal education, but you're rather going towards a boot camp, which is what I recommend people do all the time, you can go through some of these boot camps. And on top of that, you're even able to add these Simply Learn boot camps to your resume. And you could even count these as one of your big five projects that you have completed. And that brings us to our third project that I would like to recommend to you. And that is actually just going through Hack the Box and having write-ups. I know I mentioned this a little bit earlier with the videos on YouTube that you should go through Hack the Box and you can make walkthroughs but doing some kind of CTFs and even doing CTFs that have not been retired yet on Hack the Box is really going to help you. So being able to level up your rank on Hack the Box is gonna look really good because you have done non-retired machines that don't have walkthroughs out on the internet yet. And maybe you think, yeah, there are walkthroughs, you just don't know how to find them. Go, you can also go to Proving Grounds by Offensive Security where they don't have walkthroughs either. And you can practice there as well. And you can put down on a resume that you have rooted at least 20 boxes and that's gonna look really good. So being able to go to Hack the Box or Proving Grounds or places that there are not walkthroughs and being able to show that you've actually rooted those machines is going to be really beneficial on a resume and look really good to potential employers. So number four is going to be having a place to put your code. So this is going to be 
GitHub. I highly recommend you have a GitHub page, even if you have really simple scripts, or you can host the code to the portfolio website that you built, just somewhere that employers are able to see that you've written code, you can write scripts, you are able to come up with new ideas for scripts that don't exist, or maybe take a script that exists and tailor it to something you specifically want it to do that it didn't do already. It's going to look really good. It's going to show that you, one, have the ability to collaborate with other people. Two, you're able to think outside the box in ways that other people haven't thought before. So have a GitHub page where you modify existing tools or you create your own. And number five, if you want to be a penetration tester is to set up your own Active Directory lab and make it vulnerable. There is no way to know how something works better than when you create it yourself and then you actually set up the vulnerabilities and then you exploit them and you're able to show like, hey, here is my Active Directory lab. I have made one. I have hosted it here on my local machine and I also have a video of it that you can see on YouTube and you're able to show your potential employers that you understand how Active Directory works, you know how the vulnerabilities work and you know how to secure them. So if you have any additional projects that you think would be really helpful on a resume or would be really helpful just for learning experience in general, please let us know down in the comments below. Thanks for watching.